Chapter 1, Part 1 of Memoirs of Extraordinary Popular Delusions and the Madness of Crowds. Point of response. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people who like to hear themselves talk out there. The Hi guys, how are you? My name is Juan Titanium. Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. Patreon.com slash Real Macro. Alright, so yesterday I did a video and I gave you the basics about uh, interest rates and inverted yield curves and whatever, okay? If you haven't watched that video go back and watch it now there's a lot more to that but if you want to if you want to know more about it then you have to come down to patreon.com slash real macro okay and then I will give you more insight on that all right this fucking thing that when you give people information their mind is so diseased and polluted and twisted that they will take that information and say ah Oh, oh shit. Japanification. Japanification. That's what's happening to America. And, and that's why we should go out and buy gold and silver. Man, you can, seriously, you can give people the truth and they will take it and fucking twist it upside down and present it as bullshit. It is so extremely, unbelievably annoying. It's so frustrating. Japanification. America isn't Japanification. Okay. The problem with fucking this is there's two problems to this. Number one, that because American interest rates uh, are coming down, which is the world's biggest bond market, uh, market by a factor of 10. Okay. You're watching the bonds go negative worldwide. You're, you're seeing Europe negative 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 all, all across the board switzerland germany everywhere and again this is the price of the bond not the coupon okay forget about that that's not for you guys and because it happened first in japan therefore it is the same thing as japan well again they're going to take facts mix it with fiction and present it to you okay that's problem number one. The The world has nothing to do with Japan. Forget about it. But here's the other thing. You have a bunch of MMT tards running around parading fucking Japan as some fucking uh, success story. Okay, look, look, Japan. They have they have high debt to GDP, no inflation. No inflation, my friend. We can afford anything for free. Free, 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 free. Come to me, come to me. Come on, come on, come on. Bernie Sanders, vote for me. Free, 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 free. You don't have to work. No problem. Right? Like a fucking fish market. Just peddling bullshit. So, you see, you, you get this kind of stupid shit on social media. They present it to you. You take whatever the narrative that they're trying to push, the agenda they're trying to push, the ideology, whatever the fuck it is, and they'll fucking twist it. And... And use that information to, to, to twist your mind, to make you not see the truth, to assure that you never see the truth, even when it's presented to you. So let me debunk something about Japan and MMT and all this bullshit. Number one, Japan has had a debt deleveraging savings problem. That's number one. Ever since they came and bought the Empire State Building and tried to act like, you know who I am, and I fucking, I suck, and I'm the man, and you Americans, and I'll show you, and me, Japan, is the greatest. Ever since that happened, it was game over for them, okay? Uh, they started to dwindle away. Okay, that's problem number one for Japan. Acting like they're fucking cool, right? Putting their their fingers in the U.S. face. You never do that. You never do that. So what happened in Japan? Japan started to uh, enter a a uh, debt crisis, right? So they went into debt deleveraging. All right, so that's number one. Number two, they have um, been printing and printing and printing. And this is Richard Koo. You can just go uh, Google him. He'll tell you all about debt deleveraging, okay? That this is a different kind of problem. So, um, so that's problem number one. 
right, uh, the leveraging of private debt. Problem number two, Japan has a demographics problem, okay? They're old. They're old and uh, they're not as innovative as they used to be, although they are, number three, they're exporters. Nothing to do with the U.S. Nothing to do with the U.S., okay? So they enter debt to leveraging, they're old, and they are exporters, okay? Three, uh, four, they started to run QE. What is QE? You convert bonds into cash, okay? And then that cash never makes it into the functional economy. It stays in the, uh, and I should say functional, when I say functional economy, I mean productive economy, okay? Where the 95% reside. Those uh, yen never made it into the productive portion of the private sector. They were in the unproductive portion of the private sector where the top 5% reside. And therefore, you never saw inflation. And you'll never see inflation in that, in that scenario. Because the currency gets stuck in the unproductive portion of the economy. What I've been telling you for years. Savings bubble, savings bubble, savings bubble, savings bubble. And money within the savings bubble is going to chase yields, okay? It's going to go buy more bonds. And when it buys more bonds and there's less bonds available, even though that they were printing uh, more bonds, okay, the government was printing more bonds, well, what was the central bank doing? Taking those bonds and liquefying them back into yen, and then that yen went into the savings bubble, the unproductive portion of the economy, and then the unproductive portion of the economy, we would do what? Go buy more bonds, uh, because they had more cash and that suppressed yields, okay? And if you do that enough, guess what's going to happen to your debt to GDP? It's going to rise, okay? But in the productive economy, where they were saving, they were deleveraging, you're going to see what? Low inflation. Even at maximum employment, you're going to see low inflation. So when you look at their uh, debt to GDP, okay, you're going to see that it's 238% as of today, 238%. But none of those dollars are in the functional productive economy, okay? So you're not going to see inflation. The inflation that you're going to see will be in asset prices. And that's why their uh, interest rates were negative. That's why uh, they are they ran out of bonds to buy, and they're like, fuck it, let's start buying the stock market. What do you think, Bob? Yeah, or, you know, I don't know, what is the Japanese name? Ching Jing or whatever. Yo, what do you think, Ching Jing? We go fucking buy some fucking stocks? Yeah, fuck it, let's go buy some. And now they owe, own 4.7% of all uh, uh, shares outstanding, okay? So, nothing, absolutely nothing to do with what MMT is prescribing. What is MMT prescribing? Oh, we can have free healthcare, free colleges, we can have fucking free job guarantee with people, unproductive people with no skills, no no uh, labor required uh, that's gonna produce anything of value for a profit. No, we don't, we, don't, we don't care about that. You can't get fired either, okay? Unless you try to kill somebody, then, you know, you're gonna be in jail. And we'll print four, five, six trillion dollars every year Okay, and just hand out all these free candies, and we're going to have the government control energy and a Green New Deal. The government is going to control wages, and the government is going to uh, control employment. We're going to have a stucker, uh, a buff, st uh, stucker, bu what, what the fuck do they call it? Buffer stock. <laughs> we're going to have a buffer stock of fucking, uh, you know, adult orphans waiting for the private sector to come pick them up with unskilled uh, labor suppressing wages all the way down to wherever the job guarantee wages are. We'll give them $36,500, a credit card, and free health care. We'll just you know, expand that program, right? We'll, we'll go from $9 million to $18 million to $27 million. You know, just keep making sure it's a right for everybody to go and, you know, get free cash from the government, which will funnel trillions of dollars and endless trillions of dollars, okay, annually. 20-25% of GDP every year will funnel those dollars into the productive economy, make sure that that productive economy is now, you know, 10% uh, unproductive, but we'll just keep giving them dollars, and we'll make sure that that 
suppresses the wages for everybody else okay and then we'll we'll spend that money and we'll go to the top five percent all right we'll just save it and go out and buy uh, stocks bonds commodities real estate and it will be the same thing as Japan no 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 it's got nothing to do with Japan absolutely nothing to do with Japan it's not the same kind of money printing so when they're parading Japan as this great fucking success story, let me remind you that Japan has been uh, uh, in, in four lost decades, okay? In the cycle of four lost decades, where all they're doing is you have gov, you have let me draw it here. You have government over here. You have the central bank over here. You have the savings bubble over here, okay? So what are they doing? Government is issuing these bonds the bonds are being bought by the central bank okay and then it's liquefying those uh, bonds into yen and then the yen go buy more bonds and this cycle just c continues on and on and on and on and on okay and making debt to GDP appear uh, so high okay so high but none of those dollars are making it or dollars those yen um, they're not making it into the functional economy. And then MMT comes along and says, look, look, the 238% debt to GDP, no problem. No problem, my friend. Yes, please, please, we can have free stuff. We need we need to, to deficit spend. We have a cash famine. It's not the same thing. Here's the MMT killer, okay? You ready? You ready for the MMT killer? I'll show you the MMT killer. Australia has not had... A recession in 27 years almost 30 years okay and Australia has run surpluses something that MMT will tell you ho 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 no 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 what the surp no 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 surpluses cause recessions really in what fantasy world does that happen because Australia is the MMT killer to be honest with you okay this is MMT will never fucking touch Australia even Bill Bitchell's over there. He won't talk about the surpluses that were run in Australia and the fact that there's no recession in 27 years. No, well, let's not talk about that. How about Steve Keen? Oh, yes, Steve Keen. We're going to have uh, Australia is going to enter a recession for the last decade. Wrong. Uh, but I have my Minsky motto. I don't give a fuck what you have. You're wrong. You're wrong. Okay. You are wrong, my friend. But MMT is going to tell you the same you know, they won't they won't tell you these things that oh, oh surplus no 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 that's very bad let me show you something else about uh, Australia it's fucking beautiful you know what their uh, debt to GDP was in 2008 seven whatever it was 10 percent why does an MMT tell you about that hmm? look look what was happening their economy was growing faster faster than their debt and then the crisis came along and then that has changed but still still it's been at 40 percent okay and their budget is going towards a surplus again where is the recession but you're going to see every stupid mmt tard out there telling you about japan that has four lost fucking decades printing their asses off okay and uh and I'm going to tell you about Australia, who's been running, <coughs> sorry, surpluses and uh, uh, reduced their debt to GDP, and they have very low debt to GDP relative to the rest of the world, and no recession. You see, these people don't have a fucking clue as to what they're talking about economically. None. None. They have no clue. But all you retards, all you MMT retards are going to come in. And swell my liver up with your voodoo economics, and you're going to parakeet some bullshit that MMT is selling you. Uh, it's just, it's, it's comical. And then the other people, oh my God, you're just so rude to the MMT people. You're just so rude to these people. I'm rude. I'm rude. Oh, I've had enough of this. You had enough of this. I'm rude. People that are lying to you, that want harm to you and your family, we should treat them like what? Well, little Bobby. Uh, you know, your MMT world thing, uh, it's not quite correct, okay? 
That's how you're going to talk to them. Did you ever talk to them, MT Tard? You haven't read my book. Oh, you're taking out of context. You haven't read the literature. Oh, you neoliberal, you capitalist, you. <laughs> the fuck? Right? Go, go, go and talk to Mosler. Oh, you haven't read my book, my literature. Caveats upon caveats. And depending on the conversation that we're having, well, we're going to flip-flop things around a little bit. And uh, spray some ink into your eyes and let's, let's get that government thing going. Government is going to control energy. Government is going to control wages. Government is going to control the, the jobs. Government is going to control uh, corporations. Government will control inflation. Government will control interest rates. Government, government, government. Bullshit. That's Soviet economics. Yeah, that, that's what they want. Soviet. Why do they want Soviet economics? Because they want the few, the few, them, in political power at the top, and having everybody else provision the government, the monopolist, them. Okay, and so we can have a nice feudal society, and we'll just sell that bullshit, um, as uh, you know, virtuous. We're virtuous people because we care about the poor care about the poor go read plato okay go read plato he'll he'll tell you all about how that shit works so um the austrians on the uh, austrian uh, economist i love gold i'm a naturalist i'm virtuous because i believe in real money those guys they're just equally as crazy okay uh oh japanification of america you know what that means? It means it's over. The empire is finished. Capitalism doesn't work. The value of the dollar is going to collapse because we have negative interest rates and savings bubble. But let's not look at the savings bubble. It's coming. Disaster is coming. Bunkers, bullets, guns, gold. <sighs> wow. The worst thing that could have happened to fucking the world, the, the most dangerous thing to our nation, to, to our world that we live in, is social media. Okay? Because even when they hear the truth, they won't recognize it. They will not recognize it. They'll just twist it to some stupid shit and, uh, you know, cause social unrest. And the economic Alex Jones, alternative economic gurus, the renegades are going to keep bullshitting people, making them invest in the wrong direction, make sure that they lose money consistently by fear-mongering, and everything is going to be all right. Yep. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'm going to always tell you what the truth is. I'm going to make fun of these people, the Warren Molsters, the Natasha Keltons, and... Uh, the Pavlinas, and uh, and that's it. I I couldn't care if you agree with me or not. Couldn't care less. I don't give a shit. One day you'll figure it out. Just like the shift bots. Remember the shift bots? All of them figure it out now. I was right, and I'm gonna be right on this again. So next time somebody somebody tells you Japanification, no, has nothing to do with Japanification. Okay. And Japan one day, and and here's my forecast for Japan. One day, as now they're having difficulties in the car industry because there's too many car companies competing. Tesla or now is in the is in the works, and and what's happening is you're going to start seeing those uh, profit margins start to be suppressed, and Japan is going to have difficulties running uh, government surpluses. And even though they have right now massive amounts of surpluses, and they can control the currency to wherever they need to put it okay eventually those surpluses are going to start to dwindle and then once interest rates spike a little bit okay because interest rates are set by the free market if you haven't figured that out by now uh, i don't know what more you need uh once those interest rates spike a little bit guess what it's going to collapse okay it's going to collapse they don't have the demographics at least right now, they don't have the technology to continue running um, some new kind of uh, innovative uh, export, okay? The, the car manufacturing industry is starting to 
uh, suppress the profit margins and eventually they're going to start eating up their reserves their foreign currency reserves because they were exporters and once those reserves are uh, used up then come and talk to me about how wonderful it is uh, to uh, print borrow and import because then Japan will be an importer and you're gonna see it go you think Hiroshima was bad ha wait till this fucking thing goes up in smoke and then we'll talk and then you'll be like oh my god Nick was right I'm like that's wonderful wow I wish I would have known back then yeah well it's not gonna happen next week next month next year it'll happen eventually okay unless they become more innovative and they start you know importing people from all over the world then things will change obviously but that's my forecast so uh, don't listen to him tards. all right guys take care bye bye you will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy before this battle's over the world will know that few stood against many Is that...